Hello, this is Heisenberg. Hey there, this is G Forever. Yes, with photos of the Ultraman statue from XM Studios, and we're going to zoom in. All right. So, yeah, we have the first uh, upcoming Ultraman uh, in the XM Studios uh, product line is the original Ultraman from 1966 with the Type C uh, mask. So Type C is the kind of like the definitive Ultraman, um, kind of like the one that you would, uh, when you first think of Ultraman, that's the Ultraman you would think of. Um, and it's the, uh, so this features a very nice looking base and also the, the VTOL jet. So the SSSP yeah. base, Science Patrol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, uh, it's not just Ultraman. It's a, it's a whole diorama. Mm-hmm. And it looks like he's about 63 centimeters tall, like the whole thing from the bottom mm -hmm. of the base to the top of Ultraman there. Yeah. So this is a, a polystone uh, mm -hmm. sculpture. Yes. Sells for about $1,041 plus shipping. Mm -hmm. And shipping might be uh, pretty expensive because they're based in Singapore. Singapore and, and it's polystone. But yeah, you might yep. find a U.S. retailer. Yep. So, uh, so yeah, so the shipping might not be too bad, but I think that, that might be better. All right, yeah. let's check this out here. So, yeah, so it looks like the eyes, well, looking at the first photo, it looks like the eyes light up and then his, what's that on his chest that lights the up? The color timer. So the, the color timer uh, tells you when Ultraman's uh, has full energy or when he's kind of running low on power. So when it, when it starts blinking, uh, typically if it starts blinking red, uh, Ultraman has three minutes left uh, before... Um, you know, before he, he can no longer uh, maintain his uh, gigantic form. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, this is sculpted by um, Yoshiki Fujimoto. So oh, he's cool. the sculptor. I'm not too familiar with his work, but looking at this, uh, you know, the sculpture here, it's, it's beautiful. It's probably one of the best looking Ultraman uh, statues with an amazing base I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. So we're looking at like the whole thing here. So mm -hmm. it looks like Ultraman, one thing I'm noticing, it looks like it's sort of like taking the same approach that X plus does. And that yep. it, it looks like a very sort of like, a, well, film, you know, film ac accurate. Yeah. It, it does look like a man in a suit here. Yes. With all the wrinkles, wrinkles mm -hmm. of the suit. Yes. Yeah. Definitely very accurate to um, the original Ultraman uh, from the TV show. You can definitely see all the wrinkles. Look at the boots. You can sort of see the zippers. So they're definitely going with like the authentic look here. So kind of playing a tribute to um, what you saw uh, from before. And I've, I'm loving it. Even the, uh, the little nameplate is pretty nice. It has the nice uh, silver with the red uh, Ultraman logo there. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I like I'm really, yeah. Yeah, with this diorama. Yeah, I really like the fact that it is a diorama with this mm -hmm. uh, little... Uh, uh, the science yeah, well, patrol base yeah yeah science patrol base and the ship too i'm really digging yeah. this uh, ship the, v the vtol vtol jet uh but yeah you can, as you can see it's pretty large uh, ultraman standing um what was it 63 centimeters oh, so yeah. it's a it's a big it's a big ultraman <laughs> and he's looking great and yeah you can check out the you can see all the wrinkles here so i'm looking at it from the back it. you can see like the, yeah they put all the wrinkles of the suit like in the back yep. in particular here and you can look at the zipper line like it's all curved um and look at the neck like you can see all the the curving so definitely gives that really authentic man and man in suit feeling yeah you can see so, all the stitches on the boots yeah it's so cool like you know if if you're a fan of the original ultraman show this is like a great representation uh, to have as a centerpiece yeah and i'm really <laughs> loving the jet and also the the base like it you know it really gives that miniature feel um like very very accurate yeah i'm actually like the thing that actually really caught my eye is this ship mm -hmm. that uh that this is a like a really cool looking uh ship and it looks it does look like this really nice uh, miniature yeah so, so what uh, so was the ship how much uh, of, of the ship was in the show Oh, they're, they're, the science patrol use the ship all the time. They're, they're shooting monsters, they're traveling, and um, yeah, they're just going all, this is like their, you know, their, um, their, like their jet, <laughs> oh, okay. like the, the, the X-Men, X-Men's, um, you know, was it Blackbirds? This is the science patrol's uh, VTOL jet. Okay, so it gets, yeah. gets used a lot here. Yep. Yeah. So you'll see the jet. There's, I believe, there's multiple jets in the in the show, if I remember correctly. Um, so, yeah, so, but this is one one of off. many. It's getting ready to take off. Um, yeah, yeah, here's a nice to, shot. Here's yeah, a nice shot of the jet. Number one seventeen. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah 107. It has, that, SSS. It has the Science Patrol logos. You can see the star. Um, so it's very cool. Yeah, yeah I, it's a nice I'm, shiny I'm liking silver. The, yeah, very shiny. It's so very, very accurate to the show. And I, I really like the, um, you know, this, uh, this, the base uh, overall because it really looks like the miniature um, very much. So it's very cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you the details. See, you can start to see the zipper on the boots here. Yes. Very cool details by that XM. Uh, uh, and another uh, view yeah we got the yeah oh yeah yeah uh, the engine the engines in the back of the jet yeah oh yeah very nice yeah uh, yeah 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 there's another view of the jet here yeah i'm actually like i don't know it's like uh the jet i'm, no, I'm not <laughs> i'm normally not into vehicles but this style uh -huh. i mean this is sort of like this this sort of like a yeah, the style of uh, mm -hmm. ship uh I, I i find very cool like this nice. whole like uh like uh yeah, this this uh, style here. And check out the paintwork. Like, go back to the last image. Um, like, even the uh, what do you call it? Like the hanger. Like, you can see there. It looks like there's some brown. Yeah, um, they put some rust on. Yeah, rust they put on some it. Rust on the hanger. Yeah. So they're yeah. they're not skipping out on any detail. So XM's really um, paying close attention uh, to every minute detail. Oh, yeah. It's it's looking really nice. Yeah, we'll put a link in the description of where, like, X, um, the XM Studios website, where they're. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, you can buy this directly from XM Studios. But like I said, they're in Singapore, so if you're in the U.S., if you buy directly from them, the shipping might be like, uh, like extremely expensive. So mm -hmm. you might be better off, uh, like, buying it from a like a U.S. retailer, somebody like mm -hmm. Big Bad Toy Store. Yep. Uh, so yeah, something to be aware of, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's, I don't see how it could, uh, could be better here. seems like you got everything, everything you, that you'd uh, want here. Yeah. I think the one more thing that I want is to see an enemy monster where Ultraman's facing off. But other than that, like Ultraman's looking great. Very, very good looking Ultraman. And I'm really digging like the light up because, uh, that's kind of like, uh, it's iconic to Ultraman. So having the light up eyes, the eggshell eyes, and that color timer i'm curious to see if there's any like uh, if the color timer if there's any like mechanism or like a button or maybe some sort of magnet to make it blink um so you can kind of make him in the low power mode um, so it'd be kind of a neat feature to have but we'll see i mean we'll uh you know we'll talk to our friends of xm to uh, find out more details soon yeah i think that wouldn't be very hard with leds leds mm -hmm. can you know uh, pretty easily like uh like uh, display different colors mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but uh yeah it depends on how they do it yeah but, i think uh, my i have a bandai um it's similar to a medicom figure uh where it has like this magnet um like the uh, the transformation uh device that um hayata uses to transform to ultraman you wave it over his chest and um and then the uh, color timer will will change its color so right, I think right. it uses like a magnet to activate the color change. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, let's say looking forward. And again, I think XM is hoping to do more uh, Godzilla items too. So looking yes. forward to that. So yeah. yeah. Stay tuned to our channel for uh, more news. Yeah. Lots of uh, Godzilla and Ultraman uh, items to come. So XM is going to keep fans happy. Oh, yeah. All right. So this is Heisenberg. And G Forever, hoping you enjoy the XM Studios Ultraman.